Howdy, everyone. All right, so before I uh, get back to my cowling work, I've decided to do something else that needs to be done with the canopy. So you can see that I've got the canopy laid back on the fuselage. Um, I have the struts still connected to the fuselage. I basically just pulled my um, jettison handle to remove the, to slide the pins off of the hinges and then pulled the canopy out and then just kind of laid it back on the fuselage. What I want to do is this. This area here, this is supposed to be the ceiling surface for when the canopy is shut. And what I plan to do is I'm gonna mask off the skin and then I'm gonna put a layer of fuel tank sealant all through here all the way around on this top hedge and then of course around there. I'm gonna tape wax paper up underneath this edge of the canopy. And then after I get the fuel tank, fuel tank sealant on, I'm gonna go ahead and put the canopy back in and then close it and latch it and let that fuel tank sealant dry. And then in theory, I should be able to come back, open up the canopy, peel off the um, the wax paper and peel off the tape that's going to keep the fuel tank sealant off of the skin. And that should leave me with a soft bead of fuel tank sealant all the way around that perfectly contours and matches the shape of this uh, flanged part of the forward canopy skin and that should provide a decent seal so that's the plan so I've got this all cleaned up what I need to do now is tape off the skin actually I don't know that I'll maybe I won't tape the uh, the wax paper maybe I won't tape it underneath here maybe I'll just lay it across this put the canopy back on and close it but anywho that's the plan that's what I'm working on now before I uh, go back into uh, working on the the, uh, the cowling the engine cowling so let me get something figured out on here and I'll talk to you guys later howdy everyone you can see now that I've got the fuel tank sealant spread along this edge here and that hopefully will form some kind of a seal once I get the canopy back into position and get it closed. Now I didn't put a lot on just because I don't want it to smoosh down and roll around this edge and end up dripping on my avionics. So it will be an improvement whether or not it's going to be watertight at this point. I don't know. After the fact, I could also I could build it up again if I needed to, if I needed to you know, in a year or so, whatever, next time, if ever this plane is exposed to rain and I get leaks, I could put another layer in here all the way around and build it up and re basically redo it. Um, so I didn't go overboard. I just wanted some obvious gaps and stuff filled in. So now I'm getting ready to uh, lay some wax paper over top of this, and then I'll come back with the canopy and put the canopy in place. Hope it works. Alrighty, so now you can see the wax paper is in place. And all I'm going to do now is bring the canopy over and set it in, latch it, let this all dry. Hopefully at that point I can open up the canopy, peel this wax paper off, pull back the tape, the blue painter's tape underneath, and that will be it. Don't know if that's the case. We'll all find out uh, here in a week or so when I try to pull off the uh, wax paper. All right, let me get this canopy on and I'll talk to you guys later. Howdy, everyone. All right, well, you can see now that the canopy is back in place. And a couple of things. So obviously, I have a tip-up canopy. If you're going to put the uh, fuel tank sealant in here like I did, take the canopy completely off because I had just disconnected the hinges and tried to lay it back using the struts. That was kind of a pain. 
getting the canopy back on, I thought it would be just as simple as pivoting it back on with the uh, struts in place and just pivot it back in place, get the hinges in and repin it. Nope. Uh, that was a super struggle. I ended up just taking the, uh, the struts off and basically refitting the canopy from scratch, basically like you would normally do if you remove the whole canopy and then put it back in place. So that sucked. That was a big struggle. Um, about bent the damn thing really bad and uh, almost had some other issues. But anyway, no damage. Everything's back in place. Everything's fine. But like I said, if you're going to do this, do it the right way. Just take the canopy completely off the airplane, set it down somewhere safe, and then when you're ready, bring it back, reinstall it. Um, it's yet to be seen if this is going to work, right? Uh, I used wax paper. I'm really hoping that the fuel tank sealant does not stick to it. Um, that's a real possibility. When I go to pull off this wax paper, it's not going to peel off at all. That may be an issue. I can already tell that I did not put enough fuel tank sealant because when I closed the canopy, nothing, nothing squished out. So I know that I have sealed a ton of gaps and openings in this entire area. But as far as it being waterproof enough to keep water from coming underneath and draining into the cockpit, I'm not so sure that that's going to be the case. Like I said, down the road, if I want, I can take the canopy off. I could obviously put another heavier layer of fuel tank sealant and put the canopy back in place and, and try to work it, basically work it up in layers. But it is an improvement from doing nothing, but is it waterproof? Don't think so, at least not at this point. But we'll see what happens, you know, when the plane is flying and it may or may not be subject to some rainy weather. We'll see what happens. So I think now I will go back to the canop or the uh, cowlings. All I was doing was um, drilling and getting ready to install the different um, uh, nut plates onto the bottom of the canopy. So let me get back to that. I started on that yesterday. Let me see if I can't get that finished up today. And then we'll try to figure out what to do next. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.